What's going on, everybody? Crypto Kid here, coming to see you again with another video. Today, we're looking at Proppy Token, that is P R O. So, the major news behind Proppy is that it just got listed onto Coinbase. This is, of course, a real estate token. So, going further, where is the price going to go? Obviously, back in November, we were at around $3.88 when people started to kind of find out that it was going to get listed. We've since pulled back, um, and now since the actual listing, which was, I believe, earlier today, um, we started to rock it up again. So I think you want to be careful here because there probably is going to be another dip. Um, personally, I believe that the price is going to end up leveling out um, a few months from now, probably a lot higher than it is right now. So it's just do you want to weather the storm? Is this a coin that you believe in? Um, and if you don't know much about the coin, you're in the right place because we're going to get into the actual data behind the coin as we continue the video. So make sure to stick around. So anyways, right now it's been really hectic. We ended up running up to $3 and 60 cents in the past hour, actually three to $3 72 cents and then boom, crash out of nowhere. So we can go ahead and refresh and see where it's at now, uh, $3 40 cents. So making a small comeback. Um, but regardless, let's get into what it actually is. So we're pulling it up right here. Basically, it is an NFT smart contract that can change the name of the legal entity owner of a property. Um, so this is something that n not a lot of people have been able to really do in this space. Uh, it's an idea that has been floating around for a while, tokenizing buildings. Um, but to take it from a real estate approach and make it seamless for agents to be involved and not necessarily to cut out a middleman, um, it's going to be great because obviously the big people in the space that are actually going to give this um, protocol its credibility are going to be behind this because there's a future where they are still needed, um, which I think is something that can't be really understated how important that is. So. Their task is basically just to provide the legal framework um, that authorizes the NFT smart contract to do the modifications of the legal paperwork. So they're basically working with the government to make sure that they're doing the right things with taxes um, and you can actually put your legal name in uh, that you're owning this property. So obviously without the government involved, this would be really hectic um, and there wouldn't be any way to really do this uh, without that because then you can't really enforce the law saying, oh, this person legally owns the property. And then when you actually sell it, you, get, you can go to the owner and say, hey, get out. I own this now. So without that, without the government's help, I, I'm not really sure how you go about doing that um, exchange seamlessly. So anyways, like we said, market cap, 242 million, fully diluted, 327 million. I believe we have around 70, 74 percent of the supply of the total supply is already out there um, floating around. So. Slightly concerning given that uh, they obviously do still hold a lot of the supply um, on the sidelines ready to dump. And if we look into where those tokens are going, we have 35% went into the token sale. Um, so we don't have to worry about that as much. But 35% is going to go to network growth, they state. 15% to donations and 15% company tokens. So this part I actually like because this is, means it's going to go to people within the company um, basically for their own personal gain. So what this does it is incentivizes the people that are working on this project to give property token pro more use cases because currently there's not a whole lot of use cases um, as far as i can tell you can basically go through an entire transaction um, without the need of the pro tokens so a lot of people have been tweeting out the at the founders saying hey can you provide more use cases for pro is there going to be more in the future so Remains to be seen what's going to happen there, but the nice thing about Coinbase is that you have a lot of, I don't want to downplay it, but there's a lot of rookie investors that are just kind of looking at this like it's a stock, uh, not necessarily a crypto, so maybe they aren't really too concerned with the actual use cases of it. They're just saying, hey, this thing is going to be big someday. Let me go ahead and buy this. So knowing that, we're definitely going to have to tread lightly there, um, but they have stated on Twitter, if we want to pull it up. The property token PRO is featured on the Coinbase app. Feels great, not because of the percentage change of the price. It's great because users, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then she basically goes on to state um, some of the reasons why PRO, the token exactly, um, is useful for, for a property. You know, I read into a lot of this and I really didn't see um, a whole lot about the complete need of the token in the network, but this is something that it's gonna remain to be seen. I hope that they are able to hopefully provide more use cases in the future. But moving on, I'm just gonna show you guys the website real quick. Obviously relatively clean. They have a couple reviews on here um, from, I guess, some powerful people in real estate. So I suppose that's promising. I mean, we have Sequoia Real Estate um, and then a broker and owner at the ACME Real Estate. So clearly it's getting some attention um, in the real estate market, which is obviously good. You love to see people uh, shouting out the company in general, but 
you know, the main thing that we're learning here, guys, is that this is just a, it's a new, I mean, I know it released in 2017, but there's, it's still relatively new. I mean, I think a lot of people are coming around on the concept of NFT still, um, and it looks like there's a lot of work to be done. It doesn't look like it's a finished product quite yet. Um, I believe they did do their first sale already, um, which is obviously a good thing back in 2017. I believe it was actually Michael Saylor that uh, sold or bought the first property through, through the network, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically what we're looking at is the token itself doesn't have a whole lot of use cases yet. There looks to be more coming um, in the future based on what they're saying. But regardless, I think there's going to be a lot of hype behind this coin. Um, and it's honestly looking like a pretty good investment. I mean, the floor is relatively low, given that the market cap's already um, only $265 million. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and allocate a small percentage of your portfolio to this token, I think you can basically rest assured that in the future, in the next couple of years, this thing is going to be worth a whole lot more than it is already right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to give this a, probably a B rating, um, for an investment. Don't love it. Like as much as I love, uh, a ALCX, which we mentioned yesterday, Alchemix. Um, but I think that there's, there's a lot of potential here. So you know what? I went ahead and I, I put some money into into Proppy, and I guess we'll just see where it goes. I mean, I'm not expecting too much, but hopefully we can all make a quick buck, buck, buck off of it. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.